tell us how it all got started. Absolutely. So um, it was just after my seventh birthday that I was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And being a seven-year-old, I had absolutely no idea what cancer was or what it meant until I had it. I just knew that my life was changing completely and I just had to get used to a new routine. But I was a very shy kid um, and so there were a lot of changes ahead of me. Oh my God. And, and how, what did inspire you to, to start giving back? It was a little bit after I was diagnosed, a family friend had told us about a family who had lost their home in a fire, and they had two little girls. And all I could think about was how I related to those two little girls, even though I didn't even know their names, but how we had both entered brand new situations. They had just become homeless, and I had just become sick. And those were two situations where our unfortunate situation was not our fault. And this really drove me towards wanting to give back. And so it was with that act of kindness that I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life giving back, regardless of how much time I knew I had left. Mm. You seem so wise beyond your years. Thank you. How did you even begin to start a nonprofit when you were seven years old? It was it was quite a journey. Um, initially, my mom wasn't really all for it because for. For one thing, I was sick, but I was also seven years old and just in the first grade. But over time, I was able to do various projects just to show her and the community that I was very serious about giving back. And so after a while, I was able to build up a youth board of advisors between the ages of eight and 18. Um, and together, we've been able to help over 26,000 youth. <laughs> My God. Where would you say you get your passion for service from? My passion really comes from my family, um, as well as my faith foundation, and really my new understanding of what it's like to be a kid in a situation that is not your fault. Um, I've been giving back technically since I was about one and a half, but I got serious about it when I was seven um, because of wow. my, my diagnosis. And so with that, I was really just able to have a new understanding, a new perspective of what it's like. And I really want to give back because I've been given so much throughout my journey, whether it be from friends or family, church family, the community. Um, and so that's really a passion of mine and why I love helping homeless, sick, and foster children. Mm. It's so amazing. <laughs> How much have you raised in donations? We have been able to um, go, we have been able to donate over four hundred thousand dollars in in kind products, um, <laughs> and I've been able to raise over one hundred fifty thousand dollars through awards and grants for my organization. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I have to ask you: Did you ever think, when you started this, that you would be able to bless so many people? Are you impressed with how far you've come? I'm absolutely amazed at how far we've been able to come, just because when I was younger, I, I truly had no idea it would grow to be such a large organization. Um, although I should have, I started out with a board of 13 youth. I was just pulling people from all over the place. Um, and so while our youth board has changed, it will continue to change. It really has been quite a blessing to be able to help so many people and really just be able to, I basically just make a good service out of my life. You have done that. <laughs> What's next for you? You've done so many things. Thank you. Um, next, I am definitely looking towards going to college. I'm also looking to put some new youth in on my board to keep it going. Nice. Uh, where do you want to go to college? I would absolutely love to go to Howard University. Oh! <laughs> yeah. well, ha that's amazing. Thank you. Have you heard back from Howard? Not yeah. yet. We'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. We want to cheer on, right? <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, well, Grace, I have to tell you something. It turns out you weren't waitlisted. Your family actually wanted to surprise you here today. You've been accepted into Howard Art University on the fall 2023 semester. Yes, you've been offered one of just 15 spots in the first class of the Humanities and Social Science Scholars Program. Yes, we even have a video message from the Howard University president. Check this out. Hi, Grace. I'm Wayne Frederick, the president of Howard University, and I want to congratulate you. You've been admitted to the incoming class of 2027. I am extremely proud of the fact that you will be joining us. You also will be admitted to our Humanities and Social Sciences Scholar Program. This is the first year that we will be taking in students. The goal here is to get young African Americans like yourself interested in a doctoral degree in the Humanities and Social Sciences. And I look forward to meeting you in person. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm getting emotional. So how do you feel? I, I have no worry. I can, at first, I'm just thinking that I'm here, first of <laughs> all. But that is, that is, wow. That is amazing. Thank 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've done so many great things and you are brilliant, so it is well deserved. And we all want to say congratulations, right guys? And thank you, Howard University. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.